Welcome back. We are going to try a game called Desolatium. Uh, Desolatium? I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's a first-person point-and-click graphic adventure based on Lovecraft mythos. So you know there's probably going to be some blood, uh, some murder, some crazy creatures, I guess, and some freakiness. And, you know, I just wanted to see if uh, the computer can pronounce the title of this game. Watch this. D-E-S-O-L-A-T-I-U-M. <laughs> it can't even pronounce it. So, make of the name what you will. Let's start. Now, this game is for VR, but the options aren't there. I went and checked online in the discussion forum, and it's not there. We got controls, and you can use a mouse or keypad or joypad controller, whatnot. You got a rotation speed. Languages? How many languages? Just two. You got your field of view, and your, we can go back. All right, new game. Can't continue the game because we haven't started anything. But this would probably be so cool in 3D VR. And we're playing this on the Legion 5 Pro. No analytics will be shown because we're just playing the game, you know? Careful. Be quiet. It has to be here. Look here. I think this is it. Should we open it? Yes, that is it. It looks just like the drawings from the journal I found. Open the box. There's nothing inside. What? No. It can't be. It should be here. Shit. What was that? It's a trap! Run! Hmm. Get them. It's her! She's here! Hmm. Christopher! Christopher! Are you okay? Take the boy, but don't hurt him. We need him alive. What should we do with the other one? We don't need the other one. Leave him alone! Christopher! No! Oh, it looks like they got him. Nice. Like I said, would be better in VR. Carter Scott, the mystery of the man without memories. Carter has been caught. Escape before it's too late. It's not a good idea to remember everything. Uh, where am I? All oh, cold. Uh, my head is about to explode. I can't remember anything. Alright, so, you know, if you remember how to play point and click, you just put the cursor over what you want to look at, and if something changes, you push the button. What will this take? Uh, have I been drugged? Medical report. Carter Scott symptoms. Carter Scott. Is that my name? It seems I have a concussion. That's probably why I can't remember anything. Probably. Head trauma with loss of consciousness and secondary amnesia. Notes keep patient under observation, but should be conscious by night. Take anything? Okay. The window does not open. I was moving slow because you know, some people get sick when moving around really fast. I could get out this way if I loosen the screws. Go back to your bed immediately. know what happened to me. Where am I? This doesn't look like a hospital. You're right. This is not a hospital. This is our home. And I can't tell you its exact location. That is confidential. Especially for someone like you. Do 
you know what happened to me? I can't remember a thing. I don't know, but by your looks when they brought you in, I guess something painful. What do you mean by someone like me? Oh, that's true. The Sawbones said you have amnesia. Let's just say we've been looking for you for a long time. And you haven't been particularly nice to us. Your role in this whole thing is very important. I can't tell you anything else. Who's X-File stuff? You speak as if this was a sort of an organization. Is this a government agency? <laughs> it's more the other way around. The government is part of what we are. We are everywhere. SCP. Like him. He who dwells in our dreams. When you found me, did I have anything on me that could help me figure out who I am? Your things are in a different room, but they told me not to let you out of here. So take a seat and calm down. They said take a sit, but they pronounced it right. Why am I not allowed to leave? Why am I here? I can't tell you why you're here. The only thing I can tell you is that it will all be over soon. I demand to see whoever's in charge. Don't worry. Idiot will want to come see you too. But that woman is not very chatty if you know what I mean. <laughs> now go back to your fucking room and don't bother me. What the hell is happening? I have to get out of here. Here Here's we go. Something. A coin. Okay. Where did it go? I could get out this way if I loosen the screws. Okay, we need to use that coin. Okay, so I'm playing with the controller and I also can play with the mouse. Okay, you see that? But to get into your inventory, you just push the Y button on the controller. It seems this corridor is not guarded. I should find a way to get out of here. Man, did you see that? We picture? don't stop them. This is the end. This will destroy everything and everyone. Whose voice was that? Look at that picture. I wish we could like zoom in on it. It's a weird looking picture. It's like something inside of a, the cavity of a body. All right, so let's look around here. Walk down here. But before we leave this area, we probably need to search. Uh-uh, closed. So Teeks. Enterprises. I don't think using the main door is a good idea. The guard must be around there. Also, you can move faster like this, but I'm just trying to get a grasp of the scenery uh, for people watching. It's closed. Okay, it looks like we don't have a choice but to go down this hallway here. These people are Whoa. dead. What is this? I have to get out of here and call the police. Whoa, hold up. Look at the skull. That's not a human skull. I know that's a skull because I'm working around this stuff. They're trying to turn people into some weird creatures. What? Let's go back and pull that up. Joining the cults is the best thing that has ever happened to me. At first I had my doubts. Elder gods who claim the world. Monstrous beings. Senseless madness. But these people have a vision of the future. They only care about the result without questioning the means. They have provided me with a proper laboratory and everything I need for my experiments. I just have to report to her and while she's very reasonable she's also ruthless like no one I've ever met the experiments are progressing by leaps and bounds a few weeks ago I wouldn't have bet a penny on any of the cult beliefs 
I've always been a scientist with no religious inclination of any kind. But the things I've seen here, sacrifices. Sacrifices are the key to my serum. Sacrifices and rituals. As much as it pains me, science sometimes needs a little push to do certain things. And I have finally learned them. The words of power, the symbols painted with blood, the ancient tomes written in forgotten languages. All these elements combined with my formulas are going to help me do it. All right. <laughs> it's getting creepy, isn't it, y'all? Wow, look at all the uh, blood vessels and nerves. There's a Coke, or cola, rather. A drink is always nice. It's supposed to be very bad for your health. Let's take it. How do we take it? Can we take it? Let's see if it's in our inventory. Okay, we got it. There's another one of those skulls. Here's another a page. What the fuck is this? These psychos want to perform a human sacrifice. The first time I absolutely refused. I wasn't going to let those fanatics force me to kill people to perform their strange rites. But she can be very persuasive, so the following time I reluctantly agree, now, I've never seemed to have enough people to sacrifice. <laughs> Alright, so just killing people. Do I need that pencil? No. What kind of experiments are they doing here? Looks like a refrigerator of some kind. Could be a cryo freeze. Oh, let's not go in there just yet. There's a name here. John Crossbow. That tape recording looks out of place, doesn't it? We'll click it in just a second. Mar O H. I wonder how she died. Leave him alone! Christopher! No! Was that a memory? This looks like the Sire's kitchen. Let's see if there are any clues in this recorder. Experiment the subject died less than five minutes after injecting the serum. For a moment, all the activity indicators flashed in unison, illuminating all the screens. The subject began to mutate within seconds. His eyes turned completely red. His jaws started to grow very sharp fangs. And his voice became so high-pitched that his words couldn't be distinguished. Mm. Unfortunately, after taking the ghoul form... The subject passed away. But it has not been an absolute failure. As I was getting rid of the remains, the corpse's left hand started to have spasms. The serum continued to excite the cells in that area, even though the rest of the body was starting to experience natural rigidity. This opens up another very interesting area of investigation. I'm going to try to modify the formula to maximize that effect. Maybe. This just keeps getting worse. <laughs> very interesting. This is getting creepy, guys. Okay, the subject died less than five minutes after injecting the serum. For a moment, all the activity indicators flashed in unison, illuminating all the screens. The subject began to mutate within seconds. His eyes turned completely red, his jaw developed very sharp fangs, and his voice became so high-pitched that his words were unintelligible. And this is what the what was on the recording. Okay, I think we've done everything in here. Oh, what's this? This looks like an exit, but it's locked. Ah, so we didn't see everything. Okay, so we we'll Pan back around and let's go in here. Oh, 
Oh, that's back out. Let's go back in. Yeah, we probably need to go back down that hallway. So it's locked. So that maybe there's um is that a key down here? Like maybe there's a button. This looks like an exit, but it's locked. Is this the same thing? Maybe there's a button, a secret button that we can push. This. this looks no. like the sire's kitchen. This looks like an exit, but it's locked. Dude, how do we get out of here? There's gotta be a way. Let's click this body one more time. I'm not looking under here. Okay. Nope. We can't move. Is there something on the floor? Is it an inventory? Uh, I know the coke is not going to do anything. Objects, notes. So we got notes and objects. It's not going to do anything for us. I think we've searched this whole room. We was getting ready. I was getting ready to give up. All right, let's get these keys. Maybe these notes are mine. I'm not sure. A pen with a strange symbol on it. Who uses pens nowadays? You never know. Let's get this key. It says emergency exit, but it's very rusty. Like I don't know if it's water. going to work. All right, I think we can get out now. This looks like an exit, but it's locked. Let's try this key. This looks like the right key, but it's... This looks like an exit, but it's locked. What about this? Door? This looks like an exit, but it's locked. What? Hmm. Try it one more time. This looks like the right key, but it's very rusty. <gasps> Coke. You remember that? Uh, does will Coke do anything with a key? Aha! That's right. Science, kids. Science. I learned about that in seventh grade. I'll cope with his acid ability, acid properties. Shit! They know I'm gone. Find Carter. We need him for tonight's ritual. Ritual? They need me for a ritual? What's all this? I have to get the fuck out of here. Is this the right way? Sophie, wait.
Whalen in search of the truth, a few ordinary pages can conceal the greatest of horrors. Is this like the next chapter? I love the realistic look of it. The old days. That's strange. Carter should be here already. He told me he'd discovered something important and he's not usually late. I could check the department. He may be there. That is a cool map of the planet. Okay, so first thing we need to do is like check everything. We need to check everything. I mean everything. So let's start here. Make sure there's nothing in the books. In boxes. Nice painting. As odd as it may be, this painting calms me. Okay, it looks like a computer. This article looks like. We are on the right path. Our investigation is almost over. Okay, say so it says. Uh, such as the esoteric order of dragon, whose origin seems to date from the earlier ancient engravings depicting their god, have been found on remote islands in Polynesia. These same engravings have been found in recent cults, especially in coastal areas. This cult worshipped an aquatic being, usually represented with multiple tentacles, and we know who that is. Their tradition spoke of amphibian creatures that surfaced to mate and, years later, returned to take their progeny. There is a whole language and writing based on pictograms, the study of, and it ends. If only we could find out where Dagon's followers are hiding. Members of this order worship a water god, a mixture of man and fish, but of colossal proportions called Dagon. This deity provides them with an abundant fishing, keeps the seas calm, and protects them from threats. The encounters with worshippers of this cult speak of jewels made of gold, with strange shapes and ancient styling with which they traded in addition to fishing, which was always abundant. They also speak of people with bulging eyes and greenish skin, probably due to inbreeding. Dagon has been venerated from the beginning of time by different cultures. For example, it is mentioned in the Bible when Philistines defeated the Israelites and take the Ark of the Covenant as spoils of war, and it is placed in the temple of Dagon. That last paragraph just didn't read right. I don't know if it's, uh, you know, the interpretation of who wrote it, but it just didn't say right. But anyway, on with the game. All scholars agree that both the name and the cult of Dagon were imported by Babylon. I would have loved to visit Relia if it had been real. The Cult of the Sleeping God. The members of this cult believe that their god came from the stars, that when he came to his planet, he created the great Arli. You know, I cannot pronounce that. Arlai, Ari, I can't pronounce it. But anyway, from which he ruled the world. I am not familiar with these. Uh, this type of spellings. But when the stars changed, the entire continent sank and the city drowned under the weight of the oceans. Their god was trapped there, sleeping on the other side of the black door, where he dwells, dreaming until his faithful advocates awaken him. Regarding their rites, we can talk about rituals and sacrifices. Looks like someone has been looking at, um, like, artifacts or something here. 
The Maypur excavation was quite an adventure, wasn't it? Although we couldn't find any of the Shankara stones in the end. Make sure we're not missing nothing on the shelves. Make sure we get that calendar. See? I have a meeting with Carter in a few minutes. Skulls. Another. Mmm. Looks like a, a scene from Attack on Titan, doesn't it? This painting always reminds me of what we are capable of. Yes, cannibalism, pretty much. I think we've got everything. Let's walk towards the door. Lights out. I think we, okay, I think we came out of here. I think our name's Sophie. I think he's in a small town called Dunwich or something like that. One of his colleagues from Arkham University needed him for a research they were doing. I think he's in a small town called Dunwich or something like that. One of his colleagues from Arkham University needed him for a research they were doing. No, oh, did we miss something? Oh, shoot. That looked weird because that, that mouth was like... <laughs> All right, let's look around her room. So we're like, what are you looking at? Don't don't steal anything out of my room. Surely we wouldn't steal anything with the person standing right there. Okay, yes, I am Sophie. Good morning, Miriam. How are you doing today? Have you seen Mr. Scott by any chance? Good morning, Professor Whalen. No, I don't think I've seen him today. We had a meeting this morning and he didn't show up or call to cancel, which is very unlikely of him. By the way, are there any messages for me? Now that you mention it, Mr. Scott left this envelope for you. I was about to take it to your office. When did he leave the envelope? Was he here yesterday? I didn't see him yesterday. And this morning, since he wasn't in his office, I had to call him because I needed his signature for some documents, but he wasn't home. I couldn't even reach him on his cell. Yes, it is strange. I'm going to check in his office. Thank you. You're welcome. If you need anything else, let me know. Hmm. Surprisingly, the voice acting is pretty good. It's not cheesy. It's not super, super professional, but it's, it's good. All right, so we are on this end. No, oh, we came back out. So we went there. We checked that. This is our office. This is Dr. Pata's office. She is on an excavation in Costa Rica. Michael Horton. He had an interview with someone called Shutter Kane in Hobbs End or something like that. What happened here? It's a mess. It looks like someone did break in. Yes, they did. Oh, yeah. Creepy stuff is happening. All right, so we'll just start here. And we have to remember to look on the floors for anything. Just check the wall, mostly. out just yet. Maybe there's some notes on the wall. Nothing of interest. Check the book cabinet. Okay, now we can like move lower. There we go. What was that? Innsmouth. Perhaps that's where the Order of Dagon has been hiding this entire time. The 
Esoteric Order of Dagon. The first records of Dagon's order date from 1848, with Brendan and Axia appeared, battered and disoriented, in a hospital. He had numerous wounds, many of them infected, and he had lost his mind. He kept telling stories about the fishmen, devil advocates, and exotic jewelry. He told how they had closed all the churches of the town to worship a new god, one who lived under the sea. He talked about human sacrifices and matings between sea creatures and townspeople. The police investigated and discovered that the town was totally normal, so Brendan Axia ended up in a detention center for dangerous patients. He died less than a year later in his cell after cutting his wrist and using his own blood to write the name of the town that tormented him and the name of the god that everyone there worshipped, Inismuth Aegon. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Man. Woo! we get every bit you know, even though we went over that wall I just want to make sure there's got to be something on this desk that's out the eye oh, of the eye cool. sounds very familiar this amulet made of a strange material between stone and metal represents an open eye surrounded by tentacles and geometric shapes. It belonged to Umar Atwal, the guardian of the last gate. <laughs> I'm being challenged. It is written in the fragments of Selenio that the eye of the Azmoth, the eye of the Az... Az... az <laughs> okay. The Eye of the Azathoth Azathoth preserves the body and the soul against the horrors <laughs> of this and other worlds. I'm sorry. Its whereabouts have been a mystery for hundreds of years, but we have finally discovered its location. It is guarded by the Esoteric Order of Dagon, who used the power of the eye to hide their presence in plain sight. Insmuth. Gosh. This is really a challenge on my mouth and speaking skills. <laughs> all right, I think we've pretty much looked all around this area. I think we got everything we need, I think. So let's head back out. This is Dr. Pata's office. Uh, she is on an excavation in Costa Rica. Uh, Michael Horton. He had an interview with someone called Shutter Kane in Hobbs End, or something like that. Well, I'm going to go talk to the other character again. Let's see if she has anything else to say. Oh, okay. We just left here. Did we check that garbage can? Yeah. Let's get out of here.
Someone broke into Carter's office. Everything is upside down. What? What do you mean someone broke in? In the university? We have to call the police. Have you seen any strangers around here? Well, now that you mention it, I did see two men hanging around the department yesterday. I asked them if they needed anything, and they said they were looking for Mr. Carter Scott. I'm pretty sure they left when I told them he wasn't here. Did they tell you their names? No. When I asked them if they wanted to leave a message for Mr. Scott, they said it was not necessary. Thank you. If anybody else comes asking for him, please let me know. Of course. Be careful. I'm going to call the police and the campus security service right now. All right, so it looks like we made some progress. Let's get out of here. Watch, we're going to walk out the door and get kidnapped or something because we're investigating. We're getting deep. Is there any other... Can we go back in our room and do something? Do we need to go in... Go in here or something. Let's go out. Can't get out there. I think he's in a small town called I think he's in a small town called Dunwich or something like that. One of his colleagues from Arkham University, Michael Horton. He had an interview with someone called Shutter Kane in Hobbs End or something like that. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Go back in here, look around, maybe we missed something. see anything. Uh, got a lot of notes. It seems like whoever broke in here, they were definitely looking for something. Information? No, there was just no other books. Nothing on those floppies. I think he's in a small town. I think he's in a small town called Dunwich or something like that. Thank you. You're welcome. If you need anything else, let me know. Let's go in our office. We checked everything in our office. Even if we didn't check everything, we would know, right? Because it's it's our office. I have a meeting with Carter in a few minutes. We got to find a way to progress. The Maypore excavation was quite an adventure, wasn't it? Although we couldn't find any of the Shankara stones in the end.
Oh, I didn't mean to go in here. Nope. No, we can't pick anything to use on the person. I was like thinking if we could just pick a note and show it to her, maybe she'd have an idea, but this lady has no idea. All right. Can't take anything over her desk. I wonder what that important matter is. Sophie, I'm sorry for not being able to attend our meeting. I have a very important matter to resolve. A matter that only someone like you could understand. If I do not contact you today, there is something in my office behind the narcotic manuscripts that I need you to have. In case you need it, don't hesitate to call James and remember, the men of science suspect something about that world, but they ignore most of it. Okay. Let's get out of here. We got to look behind something. Manuscripts. Mm. A key. Diary. This is the diary of someone who found the location of the esoteric order of Dagon. Finally. We've been looking for a lead like this for years. But why didn't Carter tell me about this before? I have to go to that village to see if it's all true. Maybe Carter's there. I'd better warn James, as Carter suggested in his note. My search for the amulet that will destroy the beast that has taken over my dreams led me to the coast, a town called Innsmouth, where inhabitants hide under their superficial smile the secret of the Order of Dagon. I fear that if they ever find out what I have come for, my life will be in serious danger. This key looks very old. I wonder what it opens. Okay, we can get out of here. And it doesn't open anything in here because we've checked and nothing's locked. James, do you know where Carter is? Something has happened. Mm. James Ozier, desperately seeking Carter. What might have happened? Will James unravel the mystery? And this is a demo. It's pretty long for a demo. What? Thanks for playing. We hope you enjoyed this little piece of cosmic horror. You will be able to discover the full story soon. If you like. I didn't get a chance to read it all, but yes, I liked it. It was very interesting for a point and click. And it was supposed to be in VR, and you guys need to put the VR in it. So it'll be more interactive. But anyway, I was playing this on the Legion 5 Pro you know, with the RTX 3070. And more than likely, if you have a 1050, this will run just fine. And this is the demo. It's called Desolatium. And you can find it on Steam. There's, there's a celebration going on. 
uh, with a bunch of demos and everything on the Steam site. So go check it out. A lot of the games that I'm playing do have demos. So check it out because this was one itself. And if you enjoy it, uh, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next, more than likely, a demo. <laughs> Peace.